Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindra Mubar and I'll come you to our 32nd uh, lecture of creating a complete, I mean a complete inventory management system. You know, always do 40 minutes, so I'll start our timer and go into our today's business. So here we are. So in the previous lecture, we stopped at uh, a level whereby we are creating what our generator so let me go ahead and serve this project okay so and i'll visit so that's our project so Remember, come here to generator and then you click on uh, generate. Sorry, you come to generator and you click on gen. Hmm? Oh, desktop. All right. Okay, so let me come to our routes. So we have our generator here. So here we are. Okay, so let me come to our web. We have here the enriched model. Okay. So at this level, so if you press here, short gen, I see here time to generate mode. I don't know how we write, I wrote this one. Let me see how we wrote it. Okay, we wrote here on uh, generate mode. Okay, so here we're calling this, we're calling it this one from the web here. So I don't know what is picking this one here. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't know why I think that. Let's see. this process to stop let's run the process again let's be faster so there we are uh so i don't know why it is doing that okay let's come to our gen here our generator here and then come here to the grid and die here and see it reach there okay there it is reaching so it is at this point Okay, so uh, yeah, so if you return from here, let's start to return from here. I'm seeing this error, I just want to solve this error. If you return from here, everything is fine. Okay, let's see why, where the problem is coming from. Okay, if we return from here, everything is fine. Okay. If you return from here, there's a problem, okay? So where is the problem coming from? This, that ID, in this display, I don't know why, eh, okay. I see this variable, I think it's being called, I don't know. But if you remove this display, and put just semicolon there, it's okay, it doesn't work still. Eh, yeah, so. I see the challenge that we did. We put here the same name, okay? The same name as the name of the function, so it has been calling it, okay? Uh, so I can change here. 
it may be some a so i say generate action something like that just anything there so it should be no fine okay. i was wondering like, what is the problem okay so if i click here now on print model so it is taking us to there and it's calling this generate model it's calling this method and this is a place where i stopped at so if i come here and i echo a pre-tag then i echo this and i echo our variables okay and then i die you'll see that we'll have our what our variables okay so we achieved that and uh, we did that in the previous lecture so let us go to the next step so let's go to the next step so i told you that i already have this one so i'm going to just benchmark as uh, i'm improving it so we go, we go to the next step Okay, so we got the variables. So the next that we're going to do, we're going to to get the what? We're going to get the um, from JSON. Okay. So if you still remember, okay, let's if you come here, if you come to our methods here, we have different types of methods. So we have different types of method. So among the crucial methods that we have, we have this uh, method of what? Of from JSON, this one here. So we're going to write the logic that is going to be generating for us this this section. Okay, this from JSON. Okay, so let us go ahead and write this logic that is going to generate for us the from JSON. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I can also create it as uh, I finish the variables. I can also create it as a what as a separate as a separate. Uh, class i mean a separate method and this separate method we shall give it what we shall give it uh the columns okay so after doing that okay okay so we are here so here we have from json variable which is going to be jane and then from json and then you give it that the columns okay we give it the columns so these columns are going to be used to process the what uh the json so let's go ahead and create this method for, for that's going to open them from json okay have it here so it's going to be just a simple method i'm going to explain it okay so let me copy it and then i'll just explain it so you'll understand it so we're going to create a static method like we did this one of making variables you see this method that able to create to generate for us the variables. So I'm going to create here also another one that's going to help us to generate the JSON. So let me explain it. Okay, let me explain step by step. So it is just a static method. It's going to be public static function. We call it from JSON. So to receive the what? The column names. Okay. Remember we have the column names. So I give you the, the column names. These ones. Okay. So after giving it the column names, we're going to loop through these column names. So as we loop through it, we just go ahead and get the key. So the key is uh, the value inside that column, okay? And then we trim it. So we check if it is empty, we continue. So if I come here and just say die, okay? You'll see that this is just a normal key. Let me show you. If I come and refresh, you'll see it's just an ID. So that's how we organize our what our database i mean our data so i go ahead and check if it is an id i make it what an integer should pass an integer so just see how i'm writing this very carefully i'm just simply saying key uh equals if it's got an id or if it's got an id data this data i concatenate I put full stop equals two and then i concatenate it i open the curl brackets okay I mean the the, the 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 double quotes then in it i just put obj dot okay obj dot key and then i pass the key name there okay equals and then i pass the what i pass the 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 utils dot int pass so here you can come and see here how we we we, we pass the integers eh? So I just simply found pass this one util dot integer pass and then after I go ahead and 
and put there okay just exactly the way it is here so in little in simple terms it's going to convert this to it to the to the text okay and then i'll be having my json in my what my my data in the m variable create a variable called m here i was using uh items so you can also use items something like that i mean json something like that so after doing that i go ahead and put the quotes so i'm creating now this square bracket and then this single colon okay so to do that i just do it like this single bracket and then the i substitute here with the what with the value and then i put the colon there in front and then i also come and close this colon and i put the square bracket and then like this and then press in colon and then put a br so you should be able to create a new line so that is how i go ahead uh, that's how i create what i create the integer okay so if i finish that the next thing that i'm going to do i i mean if i do the, the else part if it is not an id so it means that everything that is not an id is going to be a what is going to be a string okay so i just simply say data and then i say dot obj so i put here you know i'll have an object so here i was using the word item okay financial product item something like that but here i'm just using obj or an object okay dot and then open curl bracket and i put there the value so this will be like dot id dot whatever name dot whatever so this is like the key that is inside the what inside the table or the variable name equals to and then i say utils dot to string so you see what you're using here for me i have to twist here it is my string method that i use you still remember how we created that one so i put it here so it should be printed out and then i put m and then i pass the what the key and then i put a comma there so i make sure that it is what it is uh correct okay and then after doing that so this this string mine it is it is taking one variable okay taking one variable so i may need to remove uh this second one if it is what if it is to string because i don't need it uh, according to the design that i'm using right now so i remove the second one okay so if it is the id if it has the word id i create an, another variable of the same key but i replace the word underscore id with what with text so they can be two variable so if something has an id we can store its respective text in that let's say like if it's maybe uh, let's say like it is uh, a product and this product belongs to category so product has a category id so we shall have product category id and next to it we add a uh, category what category text so when you're displaying this product you can just simply display it text even without going back to fetch the what the category of the the name of the category of that product so yeah that is it so this is how i'm going to convert this one into a what into an object so i also add it on this what on this data so you can pause the video and look at that very carefully however you should just make sure that this one is almost or it looks like uh your variable like i mean it should display it should, you should portray okay what you have here okay so you see me i was using here object obj for you can keep using item obj that this for here so here i'm using what i'm using i mean i'm using obj do the key var. so it means that the key the key it will be substituted there so let's say that the key is a certain variable of, of uh, a column of a, of a table so it means that that key will be substituted there then after doing that i then i equate it to utils dot to string and then i say dot to string and then i go ahead and put m and then put this and then substitute it with the variable and then put a semicolon and then put a br so that it should be able to do what to look like this one so i know this is going to be there uh so when i print this colon is going to be displayed and this one is going to be displayed and then this square bracket so i just try to make sure i'm just what i'm trying to do right now i'm making just this thing to be like this so when i do echo or when i say print it it should give me something like this so that i should be able to replace this one so let's go ahead and display it before we proceed so i just simply can say echo here and then i come and do some die here okay so let's go and refresh so if i refresh here you'll see we have something like that 
So for you, if you're using that item, me I was using OBJ, which is the same. You can use item, you can use anything. So you see that I can simply copy this. Let me show you something here. I can just simply copy this. Assume that it was an, this was an item. Okay, I can just simply copy this and do what? And paste it here. Can you see? And there will be no error. So that's how you test. So here, I just change this one to OBJ. So make sure that when you test there, there's no error. So if this one is an M, the JSON that is coming. So you see, there is no error in this section. So I can, okay, let's see that I'm using that item. So let me copy this and say I want to use item. So what does it mean? I'll have to remove, sorry. I'll just simply put here, instead of OBJ, I put item, item like this. So if I come and refresh, you'll see, I'll have this generated. You see, that is very powerful. So let me come here and do, you see. So to test your things, just so imagine the time that we spent uh copying and pasting this thing and make sure that you're not making any error but right now we can just simply come and do like this stuff it's done okay it's done so uh here i can put maybe a so i can put here just like maybe an m something like that so i'll be using m so you see like it is done so we're going to use this technique for the rest of our projects so i have to make sure that it is doing exactly what you want or what is supposed to be done all right so i hope you've seen that the hustle yeah so that it will be our generator for generating that and then return back uh the, this kind of format or this kind of what this kind of data so when you call this function it will generate and then give us this kind of what this kind of data all right so we proceed So I finished from JSON. Okay, I finished from JSON. I want to benchmark from this one so that I shouldn't repeat myself. Okay, I finished from JSON. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to do now the to JSON. Okay, we're going to do to JSON a table that will be converting to JSON. Let's go ahead and do that also as well. So let's go ahead and put this one here, and then I will go ahead and give it the what the column. So to JSON is also going to help us to generate what? The to JSON. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So I already have it here. Let me copy it and then I explain it. Okay. So I'll come and put it here and I'll explain it. What the hell is going on here? Okay. So to JSON, I'll come and put it here. And I'm going to explain it. Okay. So it is our simple data and then the loop of what? Of our variables. As I trim them and then I check if it has an ID, I add what? Uh, the other text as I add it there on what? On this data as I concatenate. See? And that's it. Okay? So if I come here and say echo the data and die. So if I come and refresh here, you'll see that I have I have something mm -hmm. that can convert for me uh, to what? To the JSON. Can you see that? We just have that thing that can convert uh, to JSON. So that if I go now there, uh, in the section of to JSON, where is to JSON? To JSON, where is it? To JSON, this here. So you see, if I come and just put these things, here, can you see? There's no any error, and this is done by uh, a machine or the logic that we've just done. Okay. So after doing that, then, let me turn. Uh -huh. so uh, that's it so that is it now the next thing that we're going to do uh, we have been able to convert this data to what? to JSON so if I come and refresh here we see that we have something that is going to be just in the format of JSON so instead of us repeating ourselves instead of us repeating ourselves we're able to do what to generate this uh, by machine okay so proceed so let me go ahead i have now to json okay we have to json right we have to json so uh we'll go ahead and call it here so i call it in this gen model so we have finished create generating our columns i've finished generating the variables i've finished generating the from json or finished generating to json you can pause this video 
and look at this thing very carefully it is just making sense you can even do as you die or as you display and see if things are making sense to you before you do what you proceed okay so everything you'll find that it's straightforward you are looking just through the column names okay so that's to json that's it it's just as simple as that all right so we proceed uh after to json okay now we go to the to the what to the sql table variables or to the one that is going to generate for us the sql so remember we have now to create a table okay so i'm going to create now the logic that is going to generate for us the sql so that we should also not be suffering with, with creating the what the sql by ourselves so to do that i'll just simply come and copy this i'm going to explain it also put it here and then i give you the code table columns okay and then i go ahead and create it okay so let me go ahead and create it let me just have it i'm going to explain it step by step eh? so don't worry come and copy it and then come and display it here so let me explain it step by step so it is called sql table variables okay or you can call it anything that you want but it's, as long as it's related to sql it is going it, that can remind you that this is about sql so the logic that i did here I just simply create our, our what our empty variable after creating the empty variable I let me remove this first and last I do not use them I put here uh, the, the array of variables that are done okay so that I should not be able to create variables twice uh, then I start looping through the column what the column names so when I start looping through the column names I trim the key okay I trim the key after trimming the key i go ahead i check if it is already if it's already done if it's not done if it is done i continue i skip it if it is not done i add it in the done list like this okay so after doing that i go and check if it's an id i make it an integer okay if key is an id i make it an integer and a primary key okay and the primary key i don't put auto increment so you see how i do it so I put double quotes and I escape this quote because it's going to be the columns, eh? something like that. They, they, I mean, so it's going to be the, the quotes have to be physically there. Okay, Le so we are here. Let me show where we are right now. We are here on the creating table here. Here, this is where we are right now. Okay, so we are here. So you have to put these quotes, they have to be there. So me, I was using double quotes, okay? So put the integer, if it's integer, I mean, if it's an ID, I make it an integer and make it a primary key, okay? Else, I go ahead and do what? And make it uh, the text. So if it contains the underscore ID at the end of it, what do I do? I go at the end of it and I replace it back with the text so it can be two variables, the one that even will store the what? The data. So you can watch that very carefully, okay? So I'm putting the comma at the last here so that I don't always have the comma at the at the beginning of the last I mean at the end of the word of the last word. So I have to put the comma here at the beginning. At the, just like this design, you see, I put my comma here at the end. So I should never have a comma here in font. So I can throw him an error. So that is it. You see? That is it. So if I come here and just display this SQL, it should be in good shape. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Refresh. You see, you should be able to achieve something like that. It can be single quotes, can be double quote, but you should work so hard to see to see that you achieve something like that. Okay, you can pause the video and watch it very carefully, or you can use your logic to see that when you refresh or when you dis do what when you display this, you should do you're doing what you're getting that. So that is how you have to achieve that. So it means that if you copy this, it is still exactly the same or better than this. I hope you're getting the point. Okay. I hope you're getting the point. So, all right. So that is done. That is done. So that is done. So you can pause the video and look at it. So we have finished creating the table at the table columns. Okay. So I've finished almost everything now. 
Now the next thing that we're going to do is now to display. Okay, it's now going to be displaying this what this data. Now that's going to be a little bit interesting. So you have to be very careful because now it is a terminal that we're going to create now the real real class. So this is going to be interesting. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and face it. Okay, let's go ahead and face it. Alright, so the first things, the first things first, we are going to begin by doing what? By, let me see. Okay. So here we are. So I'm going to create on HTML, I mean a field that supports HTML input. So to do that, you can just simply say, for example, x equals two, and then you come and put here, you auto over end of text, something like that. And then you come at the last and put this one, okay? And put this one, okay? So come here and put this. So I'm going to close open this pre tag on top there as well. Okay. Like this. Okay, so if you do like this, it means that you will be able you will be able to do what? You'll be able to uh you'll be able to uh to embed in their HTML within I mean sorry, uh HTML whatever within your what? Within your PHP. Okay, you will be able to embed your HTML within your PHP. So there we are. So now then the first thing that we're going to do right now. So after doing that, so I'm going to put our inputs. Okay, so let me first go ahead and uh, display what we have right now. Okay, let's display what we have. So I can just simply come here. echo and say okay sorry yes i just echo this one this x because i'm keeping them in x you see now if i come and refresh you see there is nothing so if i come and put here in this html i you see i can write here even html you see within php i can be able to come and see refresh you'll see that html is there all right so now uh, the next that we're going to do right now is now to begin by adding the input. So right now we have designed, we are now start designing our what? Uh, designing our data. I mean our thing now should look like the one that we want. So we shall come to our benchmark backing, marking project which is this one. So let us come and look here at the basic inputs that we need. So these are the inputs that are needed. Okay. So I'm just going to copy them and we try to add them there. So I'll come here. Okay, so these ones will go straight as how they are. Okay, so I'll come here to EOT and then I put the inputs. Okay, so it must start on top here, it must start on the very top here. So I import material, I import what, import what. So you see, I import even the scale. So I just copy the way how they are here and I import them here. So if I, it means that, it means that if I come and refresh here our HTML, you see, so I'll show you the beauty, you see, everything has come. So we're going to put everything together so that we don't repeat ourselves when you're creating these models and that is going to improve our what? Our productivity. All right, so after doing that, the next thing that we're going to do right now is now to, uh, to do what? So I've added the imports. So those are the imports. We have added them as simple as that, okay? As simple as that. So the next thing that we're going to do, we are going now to create these two things. Okay? These ones. I uh table hand, but you know these are dynamic, these keywords are dynamic. So I can just simply come and copy them here. Then command and uh, have you created the class? No. We have to first create the class, okay? So to create the class, uh, you just simply come and say, okay, now the main class, so you just simply come and say here, like this. Let me explain this. So I'm using this to access the data here, 
and then I put class name. Remember, in our variable, we have class name. So the class name is going to be displayed there. Remember, this is a model. So in this model, we have class name. So if I come and refresh there, you'll see that class name is there. Can you see now, every, now things are starting to taking shape? So here, I've imported. I have the class name. I can just simply control A, control B, and then the model is done. You see, that is the power that I'm trying to give you right now. All right, so that is how we've created our heart, our class in HTML. So this is going to be now used as what? As that code. Okay, so the next thing uh, is now to proceed. Okay, is now to add the constants. If you still remember our constants here. Okay, so I'll come here and get the constant and then come and put them there. So let me see how I organize these ones. Come and get these ones. So I put the constant there. So the constant is going to be just static string, whatever endpoint. So how did I call them here? Endpoint the underscore like that, and then a uh, table name with like that, like that. So I put here the table name. Remember when you're collecting, we we'll add to add a table name. So I put here the table name, and then the other side I put the what? The endpoint. Okay. So the endpoint. So that should be what? So you see, I have here the endpoint. So it's here. Likewise, here I put the endpoint, and I make sure that I surround them with what? With quotes. I make sure that I surround them with quotes. So after doing that, if I come and refresh here, I should be able now to see. Can you see now? I should be. I'm able now to see the data. So things are now taking shape. You see, in fact. So here the endpoint, I think the endpoint you're not reading the, you're not using the what? The right um the right keyword. So let me come and say DD. Sorry. Let me come and say here DD. And then I put this. And you see how we name the what? The, the endpoint. So if I come and refresh, if I come and refresh, the endpoint we named it as endpoint without its underscore. So I come here and then remove it. And then come put here and put your underscore. All right, so that's it. I can for consistency, you can make them the same. Okay, so I say maybe empty equals to that one without underscore. Okay, like this. So I think that can also achieve you the same thing outside there. All right. Okay. So all right. So now we have the table. We have the table. Uh, we have the endpoint there on top there. Now, what next? So after creating this endpoint, now the next thing is to put the variables, to display the variables. And if you still remember very well, our variables, we have already created them. So what I'm going to do just, I'm going just to come and get these variables. Uh, here, these variables, and just come and put them here, like this. No echo, no what? Just put them there. So I mean that the system is going to put them there. So if I can come here, I refresh. You see, I have that. Okay, I have that. That is so beautiful. You see, our variables are there and everything. So you can simply just come control A, come to your system, and do control V. You see, there is no any error. Can you see? Everything is uh, totally perfect. Can you see that? So that is beautiful up to that level. Okay, so we proceed. So we'll proceed. So we have finished creating the what? The variables. You see now our class is taking shape. The variables are done. We'll proceed to something else. Uh, after creating the variables, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is not to create the. Um, from JSON, we're going to create the from JSON what? the from json method okay so from json method i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it so watch very carefully so just copy this and i'm going to explain it so i'll come to our after creating the variables the next thing is just add from json like this okay so from this it's just going to be just static from json like that it receives a dynamic like this and then remember for me i used item in my from json okay so let me see i used item instead of obj 
okay so i have command rename here so i finish this one i come on here so i just simply say for each dynamic and then i can come here and put here my a my a uh, sorry instead of putting obj i can put here item because the other things are going to be an item so i just simply write static from json and then i open receive the dynamic of a map and then I open car bracket and then after i go ahead i go ahead and do what and uh, and uh, and say class so i display here the class name remember the class name is already there and then i say item equals to new i can remove this new it's no longer important and then i put the class name and then i put the car bracket outside it so the way you put them there these variables will be substituted and then this one will remain the way they are and then here i check if m is null okay if m is null if whatever they have been sent here is null i return otherwise i call now from json remember from json variables here i go ahead and display it here in the between and then I return obj so instead of returning obj i'm going to return item okay so after doing that then it means that our from json is done okay our from json is done let's check it out okay so if i come and refresh can you see from json is there and it is done though it is not in it is not well aligned okay so i can just press a control a and come here to our system control v and then press control alt and l you see there is no error there is no error even from json it is already implemented can you see that from json it is already implemented that i'm not going to, to repeat my what uh my self you see it's already done that is beautiful let me go back again okay so make sure that you're also achieving those uh goals that i'm showing you sorry i'm doing that now uh after doing that now so and just to listen the spaces here something like that so after doing this the next thing that i'm going to do so we've seen how we designed the from json make sure that you understand it okay make sure that you understand it let me explain this one here and maybe this one is not so that is from json okay so after the variables then from json and that is how we've gone through it okay so after doing that now we proceed to another thing you know that's already done that is done that is done now we proceed to another thing okay all right so that is done from json and you can see it is there straightforward okay now I proceed to another thing now I proceed to um we proceed to uh to the to the get local data okay get local data if you still remember it get local data i think now i should just start writing my by my own self because uh, these are very old things so and some of them they have a lot of they might be having issues even all right so now we're going to put our method of what of get local data okay so i'm just going to come and copy is the way it is here okay okay get local data get local local items what's you call it local items i come this method so the one that we're going to write so what you do just collapse it the way it is here copy it all okay and then come and paste it here so this is our uh, what our our json and then come and paste it here okay so now you see it is it has come okay it has come but now if i come here if i come here uh now let's see uh so here let's see now what we can what we can do about it okay what we can do about it for example we want the table name okay fail to insert into the table name so if i want to access the table name what do i do i just simply 
um, that I do. I just simply we've been uh, we've been here re replacing it table names. Eh? I just simply say this to the table names. I think this one is to get for me table name. Okay, so I just simply come and remove this one and I put this to table. If you want to be safe, you just sound it in the curl bracket. Okay. So after doing that, I want to to do what to to attach the response here that has come okay but it has to be with a dollar sign so if i want to escape the dollar sign i have to put the backslash so the dollar sign will be escaped i'm going to explain these other remaining ones eh? how we're going to reach them but for now let us test and see what we have let me show you something so if i come and refresh here if i come and refresh you see this first is not there the first square is not there uh, some squares are not there like okay that's those angles angle signs like less than and greater than they're not there why because they are html tags they're the one that define html tags so html will have to ignore them if you don't tell it to be careful with them so what we're going to do we're going to make sure that html does not what does not ignore these uh less than sign okay this one so uh to make sure that it does not ignore you just simply put and less and, and lt means for less than so it will be an lt so it means that less than sign will be substitute here as it is so you come, for example if you come and refresh here you see it is not there and then i refresh right now you'll see now that the late sign the 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 what the less than sign you see it has come so it comes only when you do what you prompt it uh otherwise it will be ignored so everywhere where there is a less than sign, I put less than sign. I come here and put less than sign. Okay. Now, this thing is a variable. Can you see where I am right now? It is a what? It is a class. Okay. So I have to substitute it because it's going to change for different system. So I have to substitute it. Okay. like this okay so we're going to substitute just simply put curl bracket and then put class name how do you get the class name how do you get a class name we get the class name from here this dot class name okay so instead of putting there a static thing called financial plan you put the class name okay so likewise with this one so it can be dynamic let's come and refresh this one also now if i come and refresh everything should be fine you see still the class name it has remained there why and it is this time it is what it is dynamic okay so you proceed so after doing that now uh browsers will not also see the greater than sign sometimes so let's get rid of that by just removing the greater than sign and put l g t and g t that is the greater than sign so you just make sure that you remove it first so it cannot cause harm remove it and then put it and remove so those uh i mean symbols they're going to be considered as what as html they're going to be displayed as how they are they were born no? as how they're supposed to be can you see now everything is what is fine all right so after doing that i'm going to go ahead and uh and write i think the where is okay so let's just review everything the where is okay okay and then i put here the table name uh -huh. so you see now you have the less than sign and you have the greater than sign so i'm going to also replace them so make sure that you don't skip any greater than sign or less than sign so i'm going to come here uh where's the greater than sign uh it is where uh, so you see i already skipped it even here you see so you have to be very careful so less than sign and here greater than sign okay all right so uh so let's see here at the map so it's going to be and less than sign and and greater than sign okay so yeah that's it uh let's go back and uh, refresh and see if everything is fine so i'll come here so the class name is okay greater than sign less than sign here 
database get double db this is okay it's a static one there's nothing dynamic there here there's nothing dynamic okay so after i go ahead and say uh table equals to await in it and i do that is okay it is straightforward it will be still as it is and then this one i think they're also okay right now i have any come here and create the map i think the map is now okay also i've already changed the word again and let's not say and then we blow through the map and then we generate the uh, maps so here it is financial period so it has to be also dynamic so we shall come and copy this name and remove this financial period and then put this dynamic thing like this so when i click on generate it will just put the other word the name so i think that's it i think that's it for generating what generating a section of of what of uh, get mode okay uh, yeah so that's it now if i come uh, if i come and refresh i think let's come and refresh and see if everything is okay refresh everything uh, let's go ahead and copy it so to test you copy it as it is then you come to your model to your real model and replace it and see if you don't get any error so you see i have one error how do i fix it uh init table init table why is it the, okay we have not created this variable i mean we've not created this class i mean this method that's why it is complaining of course we are coming there okay right? but remove despite this method if we ignore it like everything is what is okay the greater than sign have been curved come as how expected everything is now fine you see everything is now fine by just clicking the what a button all right so uh that's it for today so in the next lecture we shall start exactly from there uh we're going to finish i believe we shall finish now this generator so once you finish this generator and you learn how to finish you'll use the same generator in your so many other projects of yours you'll use it in your other projects of uh, yours and um, also it is going to save our time like once we finish it we're going to be set on the pace okay so that is it yeah so that's it for now that's it for now and the next lecture let's see what we shall look at we shall look at finishing that and then after uh we proceed we proceed to what to saving and then and that's it and the saving in eating table and it all those are straightforward those are the ones that we are going to do in the what in the next lecture so make sure that you don't miss and make sure that whatever we've explained here you have understood and you can practice and understand them very well all right so let's meet in the next lecture we're going to finish this generator and we start now reworking at a very good speed bye bye make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel also